Hey guys, do you want to see exactly how testosterone replacement affects the male reproductive system? I'll break it down for you. It's all predicated on something called the hypothalamic pituitary testicular axis. That's the supply and demand system in the body that maintains a homeostatic level of testosterone. When testosterone levels get low, there are estrogen receptors in the hypothalamus that can tell the levels are low. So when that happens, your body, it upregulates something called gonadotropin releasing hormone. The pituitary picks that up and then it upregulates luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone, which signal to the testicles to make testosterone and sperm. At this point, the testicles, if they're working well, they can make enough testosterone. Your body's going to convert that into estrogen through an enzyme called aromatase. And now these estrogen molecules are going to sit on this receptor. Your body becomes more satisfied with where it's at. It starts to shut down its feedback loop. So it's going to, at this point, downregulate gonadotropin releasing hormone, which is going to downregulate luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone, which is going to downregulate testosterone and, of course, the conversion of estrogen through that aromatase function and then as levels get lower it's going to upregulate it that's homeostasis all hormones in the body for the most part operate on some sort of a negative feedback loop the problem comes into play when a guy's testicular function just can't get it done anymore. The body will have upregulated gonadotropin releasing hormone because it wants more testosterone. It's going to have upregulated LH and FSH because the pituitary is gonna pick this up. We're signaling to the testicles, hey, let's make some more testosterone, but it's just not getting there. The guy has the symptoms, he has low levels, this is not where it needs to be. So what do we do? We wanna give that guy testosterone. What we do at this point, we jump in behind the testicular production of testosterone with exogenous testosterone. At that point, the aromatase enzyme grabs that. It turns it into estrogen. Everything is very satisfied because the body has plenty of testosterone. It has plenty of estrogen. All of this gets completely downregulated, completely shut down. And that's why there's that old adage that once you start testosterone, you can never stop because if your testicles stay in this complete shutdown for a very long time, they may never come back. Some guys can come back. We know that, but a lot of guys can't. And that's a terrible story. So what do we do? We have to take care of this testicular function somehow. There's two primary ways to do it. You can do it by manipulating the estrogen receptors with something called a selective estrogen receptor modulator. That's Clomid or Enclomiphene. You can also jump in post pituitary with something called HCG and that mimics luteinizing hormone. The testicles, when they see that molecule, they're gonna start making testosterone to whatever level they can. Now it's not a good level because they qualify for testosterone replacement, but it's gonna help keep that tissue exercise and keep that tissue safe long-term. If you guys have any more questions about this, give us a call. 